Hey guys, today I'm in my guest bedroom because I'm gonna be sharing with you 10 things that I like to do before a guest comes and stays with us at our house. So ever since we redecorated this room, I just love it. I love being in here. I think it turned out so adorable. So if you guys did not get to see the full tour of this room and the before and after, I will leave that video linked above and then I'm also gonna leave it linked down below in the description box if you guys wanna check it out. But it's really important to me that whenever someone comes and stays with us that they just feel really welcome and right at home. I know whenever I'm staying at someone else's house and they just make a little extra added effort to make me feel welcome, I just really appreciate it. So I love doing the same when people are here staying with us. So these are gonna be my 10 tips or my 10 things that I like to do before someone comes and stays with us. If you guys have any other tips or suggestions or things that you like to do, please leave it down below in the comment section. I would love to hear what it is, but for now, now, let's just go ahead and jump right into this video. So one of the first things that I like to do is pretty self-explanatory and probably everybody does is clean my house. Normally I'll just clean my entire house but especially knowing that guests are coming I will really focus on this guest bedroom and then also our guest bathroom which is super close to this room. For this room I'll just make sure everything's dusted, that there are clean sheets on the bed. I think that's like probably the most important thing. Just make sure like the room is vacuumed and picked up. And then for the bathroom, I always scrub the shower out, the toilets, the sink, and then just make sure like the floors are clean and the mirrors and that the trash is also changed. The second thing that I like to do for my guests is make sure that there's plenty of clean towels. And instead of keeping them in a linen closet or something where people have to like snoop around and not sure where something is, I always like to keep them in a visible spot. So whether you keep them in their bedroom and have them like folded and nicely sitting on their bed. I normally keep mine in the bathroom, like maybe on the counter or something, but I always make sure that there's like some washcloths and some large bath towels. The next thing I like to do is keep some extra blankets out in the room just in case somebody gets chilly and if they don't know where the blankets are then they're out in the open for them and especially here in Michigan you just never know what the weather's going to be like. The fourth thing that I like to do is keep some open hangers in the closet and kind of make sure that the closet is kind of tidied up too and not a big cluttered mess. That way your guests can actually use the closet. I personally really appreciate when people leave me some extra hangers at their house just because I'm a very organized packer and I hate when I get to someone's house and then my bag just explodes and everything's everywhere. So I really appreciate being able just to like hang up a few of my items, especially things that can wrinkle pretty easily. This next thing is actually probably my favorite thing and I got the idea from being at hotels and it's to keep some dirty laundry bags out. Now I got a huge stack of these bags from Amazon and they were super cheap like 10 bucks. I'll leave a link below for them in case you guys want to pick some up too but I got a ton of them. I'll probably never get through all of them. What I like to do is just keep the bag hung up on a little hanger. I feel like that's what they normally do at hotels as well. And I really like this because that way all your dirty clothes aren't mixed in with your clean ones and when you get home, it's really easy to just pick out the dirty ones and throw them in the washer. This next thing I've always done, and I actually got the idea from my mom because she always did this, and that was to keep a little toiletry basket out. You can get as much stuff or as little stuff as you want, but especially having like a toothbrush, toothpaste, because those are things that people normally forget maybe contact solution, a contact case, 
razors, shampoo, conditioner, anything that your guests may have forgotten. It's really helpful and anytime I leave this out, my guests usually take advantage of it. The next thing I think is super helpful is to keep your Wi-Fi username and password out somewhere visible. Now, I am going to be keeping mine out in a little frame next to the bed. You don't have to even have it in their room. You could really have it anywhere. And you can get creative with this too. Like, you can put it in a frame. You can write it on a chalkboard. I was originally going to use a letter board and have that hung up, but I ended up not doing that. But I think that would be really cute too. But it seems like whenever guests are at our house, they always ask for our Wi-Fi username and password. The next thing I like to do for my guests is keep some water bottles out for them and you could even have some snacks out for them like granola bars or little pretzels or something like that just in case they get hungry but especially when I'm at someone's house I feel like I'm always more dehydrated just because I'm not filling up my water bottle at my fridge all day and I'm just not in a familiar place so I feel like it's really helpful just to keep some water bottles out for your guests and they seem to always really like that this next thing is probably the most important and it's caffeine now I always like to have my coffee bar fully stocked with maybe medium roast dark roast caffeine decaffeinated I mean you can get as crazy with this as you want to you could even add like tea or hot chocolate I mean you could have the toppings everything I typically keep mine pretty simple but it's nice to have everything out just in case your guests want to come and get their own coffee and sugar and creamer and all that stuff then everything's out in the open and they don't have to go looking for anything last but not least I feel like it's very helpful to guests especially if they're gonna be coming and going without you being there, is for them to have a house key. That way they don't have to worry about whether you're gonna leave a door unlocked for them or if someone's gonna be there. Or if you don't have an extra house key, if you have a garage door code, you could always leave the garage door code written out on a card or maybe in the frame that you have the Wi-Fi password on and stuff. I just feel like it's really helpful for guests to know that. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing how I like to prepare and get things ready for guests when they come to stay with us. Like I said, if you guys have any other tips or suggestions, things that you like to do, make sure to let me know what it is in the comment section. So if you guys love these types of videos, please make sure to find that thumbs up button down below and click it for me. And then also if you're new or just haven't subscribed yet, make sure to also click that subscribe button. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you really soon in my next video.